Bolt just released their V2 that uses Claude code, and this is a really big deal. All of these vibe coding platforms like Replit and Lovable are great for non-techies like me to spin up an MVP in a day and have something that's usable. But these apps aren't exactly what you'd call production ready. Up until now, real developers have been the only ones using the best in class coding agents like Claude code, because in order to actually use it, you have to set it up in a local terminal and have a bit of technical knowledge. But that all changes today with the release of Bolt V2. So in this video, I'll be testing out the new Claude code inside of bolt.new by building a programmatic automated directory. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are in the new Bolt V2. And as you can see, Claude agent is now available as one of the agents to use for coding. You can see V1 agent, the legacy agent is also here and Codex is coming soon, but Claude agent, Claude code is what we'll be using. And Bolt did reach out and agree to sponsor this video, but I wanna say that I honestly would have tried this out even if it wasn't sponsored because I've wanted to use Claude code for a few months now, but I just haven't found time to figure out how to locally install it on an ID or a local terminal and figure out how to use it. And now I don't have to because it's available in Bolt. So thank you again to Bolt for sponsoring this and I am excited to give this a try. And so in this video, I've decided to build a programmatic directory because directories are awesome. If you can figure out how to create a directory for a niche that a lot of people are interested in and will get a lot of traffic, you can monetize in a lot of different ways. For example, if you have a lot of traffic, you can make money with AdSense, completely passive. You can also charge businesses to list their listings on your profile or feature them. You just have to choose a niche that is going to get a lot of traffic and also has businesses potentially interested in getting their listings high on your directory. So think of things like niche job boards or specific local businesses or parks, anything where people would be interested in a consolidated source of information like job boards. But there's so many different websites that are essentially just directories. Think of when you go to buy a car or when you go to shop for hotels. These are basically just directories of all of these different listings in one place. So the one that I have decided to do today is a wedding venue directory in North Carolina. This is something that uh, is relevant with me and these wedding venues make a ton of money. So I thought what better than to make a directory of all of the wedding venues in North Carolina. So to kick this off, I wrote out a prompt. So this is what it's gonna be. Can you build me a programmatic directory website for wedding venues in North Carolina? I should be able to add new venues to a database and when a new venue is added to that database by the site owner, the website should automatically auto-generate a new page for the venue and add it to the website. The site owner should be able to add new venues through a database and site visitors should be able to create an account with their email and password and then submit wedding venues to be featured. After this, I'll also give you a CSV of 2,100 wedding venues that I'll scrape when you're ready. I also want to basically test the capabilities of Claude code. I wanna see if it can create user authentication. So basically, can a website visitor create an account with their email and password? And how seamless is Bolt going to make that process? Because traditionally, user authentication is not an easy process with these other vibe coding tools. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and hit send on this prompt. Okay, so we are about 30 seconds in here and it set up a to-do list. Basically, it's setting up a plan. It's then going to implement user authentication, create the venue directory listing page, build dynamic venue detail pages, uh, create venue submission form for visitors, then build an admin dashboard for the site owner. So this is gonna take a little bit. I will come back here when it is done with building. Okay, and while Bolt is working on the directory, I, I jumped over to Outscraper here, and this is how I'm actually going to grab all of the wedding venues, all of the actual data that the directory is going to use. So in Outscraper, you can basically search for Google Maps Data Scraper. And this is where you'll be able to scrape Google Maps for any type of business that you want. So for this, obviously I'm gonna be searching for wedding venue, and then I will go ahead and just change this to only North Carolina, perfect. And then the advanced parameters, what I like to do here is I only wanna scrape businesses with a website, operational only, so ones that are still in operation and not temporarily or permanently closed. We can say with a phone number and 
we could say, actually, I'm going to leave it because I want both good and bad ratings. We can leave all of this the same. And when we click get data here, it's going to give us an estimate. So it says anywhere from seven to $46 because we selected all of these filters, it's probably not going to find that many. So we can also click this off because we don't need the contacts and lead enrichment right now. If you wanted to do that in the future, maybe you want to grab all of those, but from here you can just click confirm I actually did this before the video and it found 2,100 venues for me. You can go ahead and click download on that and grab it as a CSV or in a Google Sheets format. And if you wanna see exactly what that costed, I'll go ahead and if I go here, you can see my last run here was about $4.92. So not too bad for grabbing 2000 records. Like if you went and tried to actually like do that yourself, that would be a lot more expensive. This is the data that we're going to feed to the directory. So rather than trying to input everything ourselves, hopefully with Bolt and Claude code, it's able to programmatically create all of these sites for us and build the directory automatically. All right, so Bolt just let me know that it is all done with the build. It has been about 15 minutes since I sent the prompt. And I gotta be honest, it, it sort of looks like most other vibe coded sites, but that's not what I really care about here because we can always work on the design later. What I really care about here is its functionality. So it has all of the search functions set up to basically filter down um, on the different venues. It has browse featured and about, and it also has a sign in function here where someone should be able to put in their email and sign up for an account. Now, one of the coolest features of this new update is that you can go into basically the project settings and we can see all of the databases that it has set up automatically for us. We can see authentication here. And something that I think is super cool here is that you can configure how users authenticate to your app. So if you look at email here, uh, you can make sure that they confirm their email. So basically once they sign up, it's gonna send them an email to confirm their email is legit and that they are a real user. So you don't get basically a bunch of fraudulent signups. You can secure the password change and prevent leaked passwords. So this is all super easy. It also has an analytics. So basically this is supposed to be like a one-stop shop, right? So you come into analytics, once you click publish to the internet, it should automatically have analytics built in to the Bolt hosted projects. So with that said, I want to actually feed it venues now and see how it does. So here I'm gonna say, here is a CSV of 2100 actual wedding venues in North Carolina. Can you use the info in the sheet for or the pages and use the image link in the photos columns as the image for each of the venues. So this is what the sheet looks like that was scraped from Outscraper. And as you can see here, it has a photo column that has a hosted image and is just like an image that was scraped from Google Maps. So basically, I want it to actually use these actual images rather than like AI generating an image. And let's see if it actually does that. So I'm just going to drop in the file. There we go, and let's hit send. Okay, we're back, and I'm not gonna lie, we ran into a couple bugs. So after submitting the CSV uh, a few times, basically it came back and said, I don't see the CSV, uh, and I was finally like, how are you not seeing the attached file? Uh, and eventually it did see the file. So we went through a few iterations of trying to import. At one point it actually made up a few fake venues, but after prompting it, it has finally started to load all of the venues that I gave it. And I'm actually really impressed with how it got all of these uh, images the first time. So typically with these vibe coding tools and even with the first version of the Bolt one, it will basically give you like AI generated images. and. I think that looks like trash, like especially when you go to a website and you could tell it was all AI generated. I, I just immediately know and I, I kind of lose trust in it. So I think this is incredible that it got all of the images from that sheet that I scraped. So we went back and forth a few times. It has also added user authentication. So I created my own account here. You can see my email within the admin dashboard. You can go in here, you can see any pending submissions and manage the venues. You can deactivate them or unfeature them. So for example, if, if you were charging venues to be featured on here, you can basically go into the admin panel and feature them or unfeature them and charge them a monthly fee to be on the featured ones. You can also submit venues here. So you can submit venue name, venue type. Let's just try out a test one. 
right here, venue type, ballroom. So it made the whole entire form, which is, which is pretty impressive. There we go. And let's submit that venue. Okay. So now if I go in the admin dashboard, we now have one pending submission and I can approve and add that one. Now there's still a lot of debugging that I would have to do to make sure that everything works. For example, the browse venues and featured and about buttons are not working, but that's very small details that is actually easy to fix the filters work. So if I select Asheville, it's going to filter depending on the venues in those cities. So that's all good. And now let's actually look at publishing this. So I'm going to go to publish and publish to the web. And that prompts the agent to start working on this so that it can be published to the actual internet. So let's go ahead and give it a second to actually publish this. Awesome. So it has now been published and it is on a bolt hosted website. So I can open this here and I can see that this is live on the internet. So if you actually went to this domain, you would see this website and you can also come back here and let's say you were making this website for a client, or obviously you're not going to want to host it on a bolt hosted landing page. So what you're going to want to do is add a custom domain. So you can purchase a new domain uh, through here. Let's just say like NC wedding venues. Let's see what it gives us. Dot uh, net. Um, let's say like find NC wedding venues. Perfect. We can get the dot com here for $15. So if we wanted to buy it right now, it would automatically set it up for us, or we can also connect a domain that we already own. So that is awesome. The other thing that I really like about bolt is, so if you go to all settings and let's look at all project settings and then go to database and then security audit, it basically tells you like all of your projects, security flaws. So that's a major problem with vibe go to tools. So as you know, people like me that don't understand all of the code behind things, basically bolts able to run like a security audit for you. So for instance, the RSL disabled in public. So table is public. RSL has not been enabled. So all of these are like warnings that say, Hey, you should probably be aware of these because there's vulnerabilities in your projects. Rather than trying to figure out how to fix these, you can just ask bolt to fix all of these for you. So let's go ahead and give that a second to run. And thanks to Claude code, it just finished up all of our security fixes here. So we don't have to worry about those anymore. And then you could just come over to publish and update it so that the updated version of our site with all of the security fixes is now going to be the live site that our users can access. And now a last little pro tip here is that if you use any of these tools, you know, like they all have basically the same exact type font and you can tell right away that this is like an AI built site. So one little trick is I just like to ask it to change the font. So I'm just going to say, can you change the font to times new Roman? Now you can use like any font that you want, but I just find that like times new Roman is pretty timeless and it makes it look a little bit less like it was just a vibe coded website. Okay. And it just finished up and it updated all of the text. And honestly, I like this a lot better. It looks way less vibe coded to me and looks more of like a legit website or a legit directory. Now, obviously there's some things I would change or probably will change in order to actually deploy this and start trying to get traffic to it. Some things that I think are pretty cool though, is that you can directly integrate with Stripe. So you can add payments to your project. So it'll prompt you to add your actual Stripe account. And so let's say I wanted to create an automatic submission form so that if a business wanted to be featured on here, they could go log in, create an account and pay, let's say $50 a month to be one of the featured listings on here, rather than having to send emails back and forth and collect payments, we can automatically integrate Stripe into this website through Claude code and through the bolt website. So that is a feature that I really like, but overall I'm pretty excited about the fact that we can now use Claude code within bolt without having to download it and use it through an IDE or set it up on a terminal in a local environment. I think this is an awesome update and I'm excited to see basically all of the updates they come out with. Like I mentioned, I think it's still a little bit buggy as basically all V1s of like a new agent are, but I'm guessing over the next month or so, this will even get a lot better and I'm excited to build with this. So let me know in the comments what you're going to build with Claude code and let me know what you're working on right now. I want to hear from you. So that's it. As always, I appreciate you and peace.